keep on feel so good. Ha! Happy Tuesday! It is a Tuesday evening. We're back two days in a row. What the fuck? Uh, how's everyone doing? I hope you're all having a wonderful day. Uh, number one, Pickles. Can we expect a new video soon on dying for some new Teddy's content? Welcome to the stream. And yes, I am actually in the middle of writing my next review. Believe it or not. Um, so yeah, and it should be kind of done relatively quickly. So um, yeah, I'll, I'll say that now until I, I upload it this time next year. And go, see, I told you. Uh, but I am indeed working on a new one. Thank you for asking. Uh, hope everybody's having a wonderful day. Uh, all the beautiful people, cult members in the chat. HQ, Scribbly Bear, TK, Matt Rx, 8, 8F Hexior. That's a difficult one to say with words. Um, Key Mars, Jump Resner. JP Ronnie Albanian Seagulls. How's everyone doing? I hope you're all having a lovely day. Um, yeah, so I thought I would do two in a row because I am away tomorrow for the whole week. So I don't want to, um, you know, just do a one stream week like some sort of amateur. So yes, we're doing two in a row. Um, off of the back of yesterday's stream of Quest for Aladdin's Treasure, which we can't ever play again because as people who are at the end of the stream, this is now the current state of the game's disc. I have it in this little baggie like some sort of um, contraband drug article that I'm about to sell on the corner of the street. Um, I am also, by the way, missing two like really small pieces. I just could not find them. So somewhere in this apartment, there are weapons on the floor that um, I'm sure my foot will find someday. Just someday. Um, but anyway, yeah, that was a fun stream, wasn't it? Wasn't it? <laughs> I don't remember there being a disaster stream like that in a while. It was actually quite... Uh, quite stressful <laughs> for the first time in quite a bit um default seven it is going well my friend how are you welcome to the stream thank you jump Bresner, more puzzle games oh god i fucking hope not uh today we're playing garfield for anyone who's on twitter it's this one and uh, on the cover there he's saying mess what mess <laughs> oh gosh i mean who could not buy that Oh fuck! Um, so Garfield always kind of eluded me when he's younger. I, I don't, I don't think I ever saw anything with Garfield in it, and I especially wasn't going to watch it when Bill Murray starred in those films because I don't know. I know the internet had a bit of a hard on for him for a while. I never kind of bought into that. I just, he just always kind of seems like a bit of a douche. But anyway, I'm not sure if that's sacrilege to say. I think he's cancelled. I mean, maybe not. I don't know. Um, Car six six six. Hello. Um, McGee Art, how are you? I hope you're having a lovely day. So yeah, um, let's have a nice little chill Tuesday. I'm sure there's some fucking hack streamer out there that's like, Hey guys, welcome to Chill Tuesday. Get those subs and donations in, am I right? Um, but no, we're going to have a nice little, maybe two, three hours of playing Garfield. I did read the Wikipedia of this before um, I selected it. And apparently this is a really fucking notoriously bad game. 
um, which I'd never heard of. So, almost uh, seems like it should be a contender, uh, contender for some sort of a video game review series. Um, I don't know. Uh, Albania Seagulls, make Tennis take a drink. Oh, you said hydrate. The Bailey H, make Tennis take a drink. Slaunch ya. Will you snap this one? No, I don't think I can start getting into the habit of snapping games. I think they, I can only start snapping them when they really, really betray me. But also, um, I do think I now know why that, that happened. So yesterday we were playing the quest for Aladdin's treasure for anybody who wasn't with us. And um, as we were about to see the fight, literally the ending of the game, the loading screen froze. And uh, we had to go on YouTube and watch it together. Um, but I think the problem may be my PS2. <laughs> um, I was googling and the PS2 has this, uh, the Simline PS2's have this weird error where um, you can, you have to put a little weight down on the back of the disc tray to like hold down the disc spinny thingy and I think my PS2 has been bad at that and I also then now think for anyone who watched my Teddy and Cole watched three more Phoenix games, you know the way two of those games stopped working? I think that might have been the reason. Uh, so now I'm gonna have to look up some sort of remedy uh, Or just put something really heavy on the fucking PS2 and then hope that I fix it. But anyway uh, Curse 66, can you set to this and glue different games together to make mutants? That's a great idea. Just make our own video games Yeah, we could put a little bit of Beverly Hills Cop in here um, We could be like the Walter White of uh, <laughs> Budget PS2 games uh, That's a really good idea um, The Microsoft lawsuit was wild. God, I haven't actually been paying attention to that all I know is I just keep seeing these, uh, like, idiots on Twitter, which is, like, always I just kind of have to remind myself, why am I on this website? But it's like, you know these people who are just, like, kind of, they're married to one side of the console wars, and they always just kind of, you always just see their fucking tweets. Ugh. But, um, no, I'm always just seeing that kind of shit. Of people going, like, Xbox, no games, or PS3, no games. Um, Nintendo, Super Nintendo, no games. Oh, yeah, yeah. Can I just put a coffee cup in this PS2 to make it work? Try that. Oh, that's interesting. A coffee cup, you say? That could be cool. Um, so, yeah. Console Wars, they're so stupid. Like, they're really fucking dumb. They're like, but the, again, it's like, clearly anybody who's engaging in that side of, like, the internet is like, they're just a teenager. You know what I mean? So, it's kind of like, it's probably a bit of fun for them. They don't have to argue with anything cool, but it's just kind of, you do have to remind yourself sometimes, it's like, we're hanging out in the same spaces online as... Any old fucking maniac, even be the teenager or 60. Like, you just, like, just the fact that you have to kind of like, why am I on this website? <laughs> why am I, like, letting this in my brain? Uh, top of the bobs with the raid of 10. Top of the bobs, thank you very much for the raid, sir. Uh, Raiders, welcome. How are you? Uh, top of the bobs, I hope you had a wonderful stream. Um, but yeah, anyway, so... Raiders, welcome to the stream. We're just getting started. Good to hear, my friend. Thank you so much for the raid. And, um, yeah, for anybody just joining, we're about to play Garfield, uh, based off the animated series, I think. So, yeah. Uh, let us hope that the PS2 works. We don't get any more bollocks so and freezes. And let's die. go. Rabies of Lard, thank you for the follow. And with all the excitement, and the nukester with the follow. Goodness gracious me. So it's all uh, thank you guys, and thank you very, very much. Uh, top of the bobs for the raid, okay. And oh my god, the green cat mini with 100 bits. Take my bits. I will, sir. Thank you so much. Garfield Mondays on a Tuesday, exactly, he said peeps. We do things backwards here. I'm from Ireland. We're a little bit later to the punch to most people. Uh, okay, here we go. So it's our fate just to die? It is, Stanley! Thank you. Thank you, thank you for the follows, gentlemen. So it's our fate just to die? Next he's going to watch the Michael Flatley movie without trying to get the said. Oh, that's a fucking awesome idea. Uh, just as the alerts play out there. I saw that on opening night in the cinema. Um, Blackbird. And a fight broke out during the screening in the lighthouse cinema here in Dublin. Um, it was fucking wild. So good. But I was, I, I'd been waiting for this film to come out for years. Literally years. That film was finished before COVID. Michael Flatley's Bond film. And um, it didn't quite live up to how bad. I think people really, really wanted it to be a cult film. But um, it just wasn't bad enough. It's terrible, but it just kind of, it's not The Room. And I really wanted The Room. Uh, yeah, yeah, okay. Oh, 
Nice bit of attention to detail put under language select. Oh, it doesn't recycle. You have to go back left again. English. Will there be voiceover? Is it really JP Ronnie? Wow. Um, TK ban sees dead peeps. <laughs> That's a fantastic joke. I joke. Um, okay. So for anyone who's ever watched uh, the Garfield cartoon, if you could tell me if uh, is it, I, I assume that this is a very Blast Games-like song theme that's put in here and it's not related to the, the, the show. There is a little Batman over there to the left. So technically we're in um, the multiverse here, in the DC universe. That's exciting, isn't it? I wonder if it would be Michael Keaton's Batman. It's not related? Okay, I guess that. Okay, let's go. Oh my god, a cutscene. Garfield! Wow! Garfield, where are you? We got voiceover. There you are. I'm very angry with you. This is your last <laughs> warning. You've scratched my favorite chair. You've eaten my carefully prepared lasagna. Mmm. And now... Oh, My fuck. favorite suit has been shredded. It's never a good thing when Garfield's first line is, mm. He would never do anything like this. Garfield, if one more thing gets eaten, scratched, or shredded, I will put you on a diet. I'm leaving now. I'll be back at five o'clock. I've left a list of chores for you to do on the fridge. Remember what I said. I really mean it this time, Garfield. Gee, I hate seeing John upset like that. Just kidding. Okay, now I'm ready for a little me time. Oh, not Pinky the Clown. That's better. My favorite. A cooking show. Mm. Is this the same voice actor? Does anyone know? Odie. What have you done? It can't John's be. John's gonna put me on a diet now, and I don't want to go on a diet. Think, Garfield, think. It's there like when you get Fiverr.com to do, like, sound alikes. John gets home, but how? Huh? The vacuum cleaner. Odie, you're a genius. What am I saying? Uh, th th that's what everyone is wondering. Uh, cosplays, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the stream. We're just about to start uh, Garfield. So yeah, um, I know nothing about this game, nor the show or the movie. I just I just picked it blindly today and said, this seems bad enough to play. Uh, was it Bill Murray in the cartoon? God, I don't know, actually. Um, this has some no Aries, no energy to it. <laughs> actually, loved this game when I was a kid. Oh no, is this a, like, is it Ultimate Quack Quack? This isn't a good game, is it? It can't be. No way. Voice acting is bad, gameplay isn't terrible. Okay, well, look, that could be a decent mix. Um, Nothing could be as bad as this fucking menu. Look at this. Like, the main menu words are leaking in over the, the selection box. Hmm. Boy, I hope someone got fired for that goof. Start a new game. Let's go. Okay. Just the cold, dead silence for a loading screen. A disc just like kind of pops in sometimes. It's like that's the most terrifying fucking loaded image. It's like a ghost. It's like the game is possessed by a disc. <laughs> also, I okay. I got worried there for a second. It was a repeat of yesterday. So that was our opening into the game. Okay, it's basically a find and put back in its place game. Oh I god. Push this. Oh, he's like Lara Croft in Angel of Darkness. I feel stronger now. What can he push? So, Garfield can kick uh, with circle. X jumps. Square and triangle don't do anything. Oh, what the fuck is this? He's a Ghostbuster! What's that to? I didn't mean to uh, open the door. I just wanted to pick up that little disc. Oh, the baby Hughes is training. No, I don't know. You gotta suck up items of the vacuum and blow it back. Oh, for fuck's sake, really? Oh. 
At least the loading times are only five fucking minutes long. That's cool. You have to suck up items. Does it tell you that anywhere? Like, not everyone has an ultimate quack quack in the chat. You know what I mean? Okay, so let us try out this strategy. Jump on... No, hang on. I for sure thought the game was, like, letting me kind of do a little jump up. So this is a small shelf, and I'm onto the big shelf. I wonder what goes there. <laughs> okay. There is literally no guidance. Okay, S Square does this. Uh, I can push this. Push what? Like, what's he mean? The stool? Push it in. Okay. Square. Okay, he's pushing. And. I wonder what goes there. Right. So I have. I'm sure I've seen something that goes there. Oh my god. That goes in a den. This game is fucking crazy! How do I put it back? So, that clearly goes up here, yeah? Uh... How do I select it? <laughs> what? Where do you find these fucking game settings? I don't know where I got this one! <laughs> like, I'm getting kind of flashbacks to the original Rugrats on the PS1. I'm on a timer. No, I'm not on a timer. I couldn't be. Goodness gracious, don't say that, please. So this game was just fix a room before- yeah, it's like that unpacking game. Remember that one that everyone was like raving about for five minutes? Um, I mean, what in the fuck- so- There's a fish. Is this Luigi's Mansion? Oh god, good shout. Is this the whole fucking game? You've got over eight hours, so I think you're fine. What? What? TK, this isn't actually on an eight hour timer, surely. Oh, fuck. Physics! Look at that. Okay, kind of. He can't fucking climb up. I'm sure I've seen something that goes there. God. I'm sure I've seen something that goes there. If I remember right, you basically got to get near to it and blow it back to its proper place. And yet, this is the whole game. Mother of fucking Mary. God, I hope we get more excellent cutscenes like the one we watched. Okay, so this is clearly... This, let's just get this on the wall, because that's obviously what goes there. There. How do I select the fucking... Uh, so... So it's our fate just to die? Last time I saw that, it was on John's foot. What was? A fucking taxidermied rabbit? Okay. Uh, Robodoma39, thank you for the follow, welcome to the stream. So yeah, uh, for anyone that was just confused there, you, you suck with R1 and you blow with L1. There is an important distinction, okay? Tennis, you have a manual. It's like I have all the boxes for my PS2 games stored like really, really deeply away. <laughs> I just did not want to dig it out. I'm sure you do somewhere. Um, God. Wish I remembered how to play this damn game. It's a memory I've tried hard to forget. Yeah, exactly. Okay, well, let us go to the next room. I can't wait to see what abilities we unlock playing in, in Garfield's house. I can't believe this is the whole fucking game. Do you know what else reminds me of? I remember back in the early days of the Tennis channel, I reviewed this Commodore 64 game. Um, called, like, it's like, were well, you rascal? What's it called? Fucking, I made like a little angry video game nerd ripoff. What's that game called? Shit, but you basically play as a baby and you have to go around doing pranks on the town. But it's kind of like that. You find these objects and you have to put them in weird places. Jesus Christ, could they have made this house annoying enough? Oh god, he has to climb every step individually. Music is my life. 
Carbon Code 93, hello, welcome to the stream. I'm sure I've seen something that goes... There. We have been back for maybe the last two weeks, and hopefully we'll continue on for who knows how long, maybe even another two weeks. Uh, I only know that the Ira Gamer had his own game at one point. No, he didn't. Did Ira Gamer have his own game? Argue Video Game Nerd did. I wonder what goes there. Ira Gamer never had his own game, did he? Press select to save. Mother of God. Yes, TK was. Jack the Nipper. Quite a fun little game. Well, when you're, like, a baby. <laughs> the Irate Gamer game. He, was, he had a, a fucking iPhone game? Oh, that's so cool. It's so funny. That Obviously, that must have come out after, like, Angry Video Nerd had his own game, didn't it? This game only takes about five minutes to save, by the way. This is all very entertaining for everybody. Okay, good to know. So that's my little war chest. So, yeah, I, I could definitely... That's funny, isn't it? Um, what the fuck? Can I kick him? I can! The animal byproducts the fuck? I'm sure I've seen something that goes there. Okay, so now there's... a puzzle piece on the floor that I can't do anything with. I'm so confused. This is so silly. Uh, did your parents hate you they only bought you bad games? No, I just always kind of gravitated towards bad games, I think. <laughs> My parents didn't buy me anything. Uh, it's time to kick Oddy off the table. Mother of God. He's real if you fucking annoying. You're smarter, hang around someone stupid. Take life one nap at a time. What were they going for with his delivery? I know, TK. I know, Miss Aladdin. Jesus Christ. I am shocked by this. I'm shocked by how basic it is, but yet they don't make it I'm easy. Sure it's just so through. fucking big. The levels are so big. Why? The music is a fever dream. Yeah. There's so much shit missing. What do you do with these puzzle pieces? I'm so confused about everything. Like, it didn't explain anything. Garfield sounds like a... He does! A sad drunk who is dubbed to the fact that he's a murderer. <laughs> There is a very, it's kind of like, um, you know in, the, in, in Zodiac, in David Fincher's Zodiac, when they're interviewing Arthur Lee Allen in that brilliant scene, where he's like, I hope there's some day where police officers aren't referred to as pigs. It's like, that's fucking this guy, it's Garfield. Great, now we can't open eggs. Fuck off, dog! Ugh, eat boot! Cats are poetry and motion. Dogs are gibberish and neutral. Wow. This game is for children. M m my children. <laughs> I'm sure I've seen something that goes there. Oh, sweet mother. The fucking computer monitor is up on the... How? I'm sure I've seen something that goes there. But it's, it's like another like kind of question. Why is everything so misplaced? What happened to this fucking house? Oh my god, dog. Fuck off. Cats are poetry and motion. Dogs are... I feel stronger now. Actually, this is this is one of my guilty pleasures. Oh my goodness! I can pull that. I so regret picking this. <laughs> I'm okay. sure I've seen something that goes there. Is there anything for me to get on this fucking table? No. Oh Christ! Those CRTVs monitors are a bastard to carry. Well, that's another thing. How does he carry all this fucking shit? Um, how do I get up to that fucking computer? Can I open the fridge? Okay. There's a wheel of cheese. Nice.
Grab the wheel of cheese. It was fucking... Oh, mother of God. What a thrill indeed. <laughs> Use the microwave. A lazy way to cook. <laughs> oh, this game was made by fucking maniacs. Can you open the microwave door? No. You're a really gifted speaker. Danny Bell with the gifted sub, Danny! Honestly, you're far too generous. This game does not deserve a gifted sub. Thank you so much, Danny. Holy shit. And uh, Caracol 93, welcome to the cult. There you go. Join maybe what might be the worst game to be put into the cult from. Danny, my goodness gracious. Thank you so much. Oh, God. I'm up. Okay, we did it. So you just basically just like keep, you just battle the controls until you get there. Right. What is the fucking point in any of this? This is so weird. <gasps> you absolute fucking... How can a game so basic be so shit? It doesn't make sense to me. Okay. Right, this or Chemist Tycoon or the Aladdin sliding level? I mean, nothing will ever beat the Aladdin sliding level. Ever. Pick it up. Pick up the fucking jumper, you dick. Suck it up. Oh, I see. You can kind of aim down. Why won't he... Why won't it work? Why won't he pick it up? What even is it? I guess is is okay. Why am I even trying with this fucking piece of shit game? Oh god. Cuz fuck you, that's why exactly. You can only have three No, can you? Oh my fucking Christ. All right, well, let's go pick up the monitor. I don't see us playing this game for the whole stream just in case anybody's wondering that. I'm gonna have to find something else. This is fucking rotten. Um, where's sure the speaker go? Something that goes there. Why do you constantly have to say that? Okay, there's I'm where sure the fish goes. Something that goes there. Um. This is so cruel. Sushi. Okay. It's it like you don't fucking get anything. Like, what's the point of any of this? What is the point of any of this? I don't understand. What were they going for? Spy fiction new game plus someday. We will have to go back to that. Alvina Eagles remake technically saying could drink. I'm going to fucking need a lot of this. My God. This is so fucking strange, this game. Like, what's it for? I don't understand. I don't. <laughs> I'm so confused by life right now. That goes in the living room. Right. Okay. Uh, we're in the living room. I wonder what goes there. Oh my Christ. I don't know if I can do much more of this already. I wonder what goes there. If it's a fireplace, you jump in the fucking fire. Oh my god, he can set the place on fire. That's fantastic. Imagine you could burn the house down. Please. <laughs> oh, they just teased us. <laughs> Such a riveting game. My god, you're telling me. <sighs> I'm sure I've seen something that goes there. I have a speaker as well. Where the, oh, that goes up there. Because that's a natural place to keep your speaker. I can pull that. Then he's thinking he has a choice in playing these bad games. I know. It's like, but th see, this is the thing that every I'm bad sure game isn't created equal. You know what I mean? There's some bad games where you can get some mileage out of and have fun talking about. This is not one of them. <laughs> 
This is the opposite of that. I'm playing this game with one earphone in because I can't bear that fucking soundtrack. There. Boom, boom, shake the room. Why does he deliver the lines like that? God, look at that fucking face. Why aren't I playing Pingus? Someday we will return to Pingus. You, like, you can't just put on Pingus. You know what I mean? That's from the utility room. Like, what do you get for completing this game? I don't understand. Number one, Pickle, you want to know what Pingus is? Oh my god. You're not experienced in the ways of the cult enough to know what Pingus is. <laughs> I do sometimes forget that Pingus is a very strange word. Can I pull this table? No. How do I get onto the fireplace? Can I pull this over? As British folk, I was like, what the fuck is utility room? Really? We used to, in Ireland, we used to call them utility rooms. What's happening? Every, every, so, every few seconds, this game does something where I'm like, what now? What do I do with that? Okay, let's go upstairs. I'm sure there's some excitement up there. Fuck me. This was a bad idea. We're only str It feels like I've been streaming for three hours. God almighty. <laughs> I think so, Danny. It, it certainly is. It's, it's up there. That Pingus moment. It should be shared. <laughs> oh, I can push this. Yeah. Why does he have a suck gun? I don't understand. I think we all miss Ping Pingus and Skelly. Yeah, Pingus is probably <laughs> like. Uh, so for anyone who doesn't know, uh, it, it was basically for anyone that knows the Action Fifty Two episode of the Angry Video Game Nerd. Um, Phoenix Games released a version of that on the PS Two called Action One Hundred. That was one hundred games in one, and over two streams on this here channel, we played every single game. And the first game, the very first game, uh, that loads up on. Action 100, action... Dynamite, Dynamite 100, excuse me. Dynamite 100. Um, was... Pingus. Pingus. And it was Pong. <laughs> and thus began the meme of the cult. Oh, Christ. Um, I'm going to have to run off and find another game because this is killing me. This is killing our stream fucking dead. Two nights in a row, Tainz. I know DM2192. Uh, home Alone PS2 is on par with this game. I would say it's a bit better because at least in Home Alone, you know why you're doing what you're doing. You know what I mean? This is just fucking shit. Although this does have voiceover. But it takes a lot for a game that has voiceover to be this fucking bad. You know what I mean? Just to be this boring. God. Hate it. Oh, a new song though. Enjoy this. Could you play Jumanji or Robin Hood? Oh, maybe. The fucking dog is back. Fu yeah, not sure the game is an anno uh, annoying enough, guys. Oh my god, he lives in a three store. This game is fucking ridiculous. Oh no, it's not. This is new. Okay, um. That was Garfield. I don't know what to do. I'm gonna to have to find another game. Let me just uh, hold tight. Just gonna get my games case. One second. Uh. Okay. Um. So yeah, here's all all the games. I tell you what. I think there's about maybe. God, I don't know. I have like about 400 games in here. So. Like, let's play something that we can just, like, spend a good little hour in. No, we're not doing random. Because, like, we'll fucking end up on Madden. Do you know what I mean? There'll be some... Oh, God, it is fucking heavy. But, yeah, it is, like, I mean, just this this thing is full of just bad PS2 games. Fucking hell. And every day I regret not liking emulators, just in case you were wondering. Um, okay. 
Okay, so... Scooby Dooby Doo. The Arcade, Catwoman, um, Agent Hugo. There's spy fiction. Um, you're not fooling me, for I can see. Um, how would everyone feel about playing Xena? Would that be fun? Anyone remember I played it on the worst games you never played 10? I'm saving Masters of the Universe uh, for a review. We played Catwoman once on the stream and um, yeah, it was it was grand, but okay, we'll play Xena just so we can see in real time the bullshit that it, it throws at you. I think that'd be a fun little game to play. Okay, is that the one with the drowning lady? It is! It's the one with Gabrielle. Gabrielle! Okay, um, everyone, hold tight. We're going to be back with Xena. Uh, in the meantime, enjoy the cold screen. take a break Garfield is gone you know what it doesn't even warrant breaking the disc like I, I think we enjoyed fucking Aladdin's uh, secret cave treasure more last night which is a result of this than fucking Garfield oh god what a crash and burn I hope everyone is still with us uh, oh my god <laughs> Tuesdays am I right inspector gadgets is a shite game too it is indeed blind bull god isn't it TK <laughs> Uh, we only splash games that we complete. Maybe that's actually a really good little rule. We should make like a little mon a, a collage on the wall of all the <laughs> Or on the floor just like you hear Shattered discs as I just step around here. Um, okay, so uh, Look, let's let's all relax Bit of a misfire. I'm gonna have to uh, Even update the little fucking description of the channel here now. We're playing Xena Bam. All right Blast bombs in the chat, everybody, please, because we are playing Xena Warrior Princess! Which I think has probably about maybe three lines of voiceover. <laughs> uh, Tens is too sober, he's not living up to a stereotype, shame. I'm drinking number one, no pickle. I have a whiskey here, thank you very much. Uh, Danny Bell, Tennings, Batman Dark Tomorrow may actually be too bad for you to play it. I don't know if you're strong enough or something that shit. Challenge accepted, Danny. Um, I have Batman... The Rise of Shinsu? Is that what's called? Shang... Shang Su? I can't remember. You know, it, it, it's, I think, notoriously bad. Um, I don't know. We'll play it someday. There's a good few little... And Batman Vengeance is another game on the PS2, I think, isn't it? Maybe. I'm not sure. Uh, Tains, you have the Cat in the Hat movie game. I do indeed, Super Toy the Tiger. And that is a stream for another day. Um, sometime Albanian Seagulls, we will also play Post on Pat. But for now, as I said, it's Xena Warrior Princess. So here we go. Enjoy 
the majesty of our warrior princess. Shinsu is a masterpiece compared to Dark Tomorrow. Ooh, that's interesting. God, I missed the cult scene. It was like just... It was absolute whiskey in my ears after um, listening to that fucking crap in Garfield. This is probably the worst language select screen I've ever seen. <laughs> I mean, really and truly. Every other game, like even uh, fucking, not Robin Hood, this game, Aladdin beforehand, and even Garfield, at least like have a little flag and everything. Here it's just like pink because it's Xena, and then they're Frankish, Italiano, Deutsch, Espanol, Dutch. There's your options. Take in the graphics. It never gets better than this. Here we go. No Z to save, save that. Oh, really? I guess I beat it and didn't save it. Isn't that a lovely noise? I could listen to that all day. It's Tuesday, everybody. We don't need no save data where we're going. Uh, save system disabled. Please use a manual save to reactivate. I am shocked it even made that screen. And the universal logo never recovered. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Are you a hooligan, Tennings? You know it. Uh, EM Studios render where? Oh, gosh. Nice little silence here. Just taking the moment. What you're about to experience. Here we go. Let's see what it does when you press help. Oh, of course, the story so far. There we go. Uh, okay. So, yeah, um, like I said, I think I mentioned this in the review. The manuals of Blast games, sometimes they like they, they actually try and do a little bit of effort where they write a big story. Um, so, and then also, sometimes when you get to the game menu, it like has another big wall of text, but it's actually different. It's always been different from what's written in the manual. So, it's like they have two different writers. It's weird. Uh, Tennis Bleeder, not time you was out of cinema, disaster piece of room, turn 20 today. Someone mentioned that as well, yeah. God, it really makes me feel old. I have a signed DVD of the room over there. Quite happy with that one. Although, with Tommy Wise out signed it, he signed like the front of the DVD. So, I mean, he didn't take out the insert and sign there. He signed uh, the actual case. So, it's like, great. So, it's like constantly getting rubbed away. <laughs> the DNA of Tommy Wise out. If I ever want to clone him, I have to do it quickly. Um, anyway, let's do this. Read it in your bad storytelling, bed storytelling voice. I will do that just for you. Best, not bed. <laughs> I was wondering, I was going to try and interpret bed as best I could. Here we go. <clears throat> Ares, god of war, in a bid to persuade Xena to rejoin his service, has kidnapped Gabrielle and has trapped her in a secret location within an enchanted citadel. Um, so yeah, I mentioned in the review, this story is fucking bananas. So, um, Ares wants to hook back up with Xena. You know, he likes a bit of Xena. And uh, the best way he wants to woo her, kidnap her girlfriend. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, uh, Gabrielle is chained to the floor in a stone-walled room, which has slowly been filled with water. Ares will only release Gabrielle if Xena returns to his side. Xena's quest, therefore, is to find her way through the Citadel, defeating Ares' traps and minions in time to free Gabrielle before the water takes her last breath. So, um... The riveting plot of Xena. Oh my god, look at that. Uh, energy orbs, spheres of Zeus, time orber. So, uh, everyone remember all that. I don't remember any of that from the game. I did a Teddy Zogland terror Terrorizer crossover. I don't know who any of those people are. I'm so sorry. I'm quite ignorant to everything. Uh, how to play the game. I'm sure they're lovely. Uh, fucking hell! Did they put enough text in this thing? Gabrielle is a smart and resourceful companion. Even as she was being dragged to captivity, she was often able to leave notes behind that would help Zena rescue her. Wherever you see such scrolls, make sure you pick them up and get whatever help Gabrielle. Isn't Gabrielle amazing? Like, even as she's been dragged away against her will, she's able to write scrolls. Using the chakram. Uh, yeah, God, I wish I read this fucking thing before playing the game initially. Anyways, my God. How is there an entire screen of text just for Zena's fucking health? Uh... 
Okay, that's the last screen. <laughs> Sonomar Sponge, that is a wicked emote. Mother of Mary. Okay. Let me out. Let's start the game. Gabrielle! Oh my god. Is there enough fucking screens? Cerberus with the raid of three. Thank you for the raid. Welcome to the stream, guys. Uh, might as well be a fanfiction at this point. Exactly. Like, Blast Games are. You know what I mean? Even Lucy Lawless, I bet if you told her, hey, you know there's a PS2 game of Xena, she'd be like, what? No, there's not. And then she'd play it. And she'd die. Ay, ay, ay. Thank you for the raid, sir, but it's, we're about to play Xena! Warrior Princess. Um, made by Blast Games, which automatically means it's terrible. I reviewed this game way back when. And um, yeah, surprise, surprise, it's awful! <laughs> Cheers It's already better than fucking Garfield I'll say that Gabrielle Ah Xena warrior princess So good of you to stop by I had a feeling you might I also have a feeling that after all these aeons You will at least last consent to come back Consent Back to my side, where we can rule the universe together. Ares, God of War, and Xena, Warrior Queen. Hurry! You will say yes, won't you, Xena? Or Gabrielle will never say anything ever again. <laughs> I love, like, the little play in words there. Oh, and we're ripped right out of that beautiful moment into another loading screen. Uh, what's been a short time you played something before giving up? That's a good question, Albanian Seagulls. Um, huh. I'd have to just look to my streams to know for sure, but there's been quite a few games where I've just given up reading. Really. Do you know what? There was a Blast game once, and it was oh, it's the only Blast game that they've ever made where it wasn't based off of a license. It was like Ro Robux or Ro it was like something Rob it's not wasn't Roblox that wasn't Blast, but it's something like that. But it was a puzzle game. Um, I'm not leaving here without. Oh, that's that. But um. I think I played that on stream once for about maybe two or three minutes. It was, like, just fucking horrible. Like, it was awful. We did beat Deadly Strike on stream. Um, yes, that was it, JP. Jetix Puzzle Bobble. Puzzle Buzzle. <laughs> uh, Gabrielle is trapped within Ares' Enchanted Citadel. You must rescue her and remember time is against you. This is true because, everybody, as you can check in the pause menu... Gabrielle is slowly being drowned to death. I don't know if the water rises if you just keep watching this. Uh, Make sense to take a drink. The greeny cat meanie. Let's launch it. But um, I almost would do just want to like stand here and just watch her. Uh, here we go. Okay. And just for the review sake, uh, everyone, let's prepare ourselves. What happens when Xena jumps off the bridge? How deep does the, the floor go? No, there, that's that's as far as you get. <laughs> oh, blast. Never change. Uh, you can't go back now, Gabrielle needs you. See all these little things that they put in? This whole stream is watching Gabrielle drown. I mean, why not? I actually don't know Super Toy Tiger, but like I did, I remember um, when I was playing the game for the review, I was getting worried. Like, I was getting, like, the water was kind of just, like, it was almost, like, up to her eyes. Maybe she can breathe through her hair, but, um, yeah. So, yeah, also, Xena's attack is just a thing of fucking beauty. Like, look how stiff it is. It's like the animators, like, don't work with the hips. You know, when they're designing things, it's just, everything is just so kind of, I don't know. And that beautiful noise when she jumps. It's like she has two broken ankles. <laughs> Just every single jump is like, ah! <laughs> right in my spurs. <laughs> okay. Uh, so Gabrielle's already left a note. Xena, when they captured me, I knew you'd come. As they dragged me through this infernal castle, Gabrielle, stop describing things so beautifully when they're dragging you away. 
Uh, when they drag me through this infernal castle to who knows where, I'll try to leave any help for you I can, so look out for scrolls like this. Good luck. I love that she had time to write good luck. <laughs> this is before the days of uh, WhatsApp. Mess another one already. In the distance between here and here, she's able to write another fucking yeah. note. There's a switch on the upper level which will open the portcullis ahead. Portcullis, excuse my, my broken English. How do you know this, Gabrielle? Hold triangle to grab onto this block. Block pushing? What? Oh my god. So this is the game, this is Xena. At least I didn't replace Xena with a bald man with a sports jacket. I like Axel Foley, okay? Mercy of Hades found. There you go. And I think whenever you're seriously hurt, should you have the Mercy of Hades, you will be transported to the last activated return point. So there you go. It's true, TK. Gabrielle's doing her job. Um, also, as well, I mentioned the review. Look at how small Xena is in the world. Do you know what I mean? Look at, like, the bricks and the wall just completely tower over her. Here we go. How do I take out the fucking sword? There we go. Eat sword, scum. Okay. The text box does it. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Here's a vase from Hercules. Oh, I forgot this. Everybody, this is one of my favorite things. Listen to this sound effect. This is great. Look at how she carries it. Like that's so amazing. It feels like speedrunners will just like pick up this vase and then she would just like instantly scroll through every single Here we go. Okay. <laughs> oh fuck! Shit! Uh, uh so the combat is thrilling. Tennis, you had the Hercules game based off the show. Off the film? Oh, there's not a Hercules PS2 game. Please, say it ain't so. Oh my god. Ares really needs to be more imaginative with his logo, by the way. Like, that's really shit. That's like, you know when someone joins Halo, like Halo 3 for the first time and makes their own little custom character and icon, their emblem? Like, that's one of the shittest ones. Um, Hercules N64. Oh, no. Gosh. I'm only PS2. Certainly not N64. I never had an N64 growing up, so I'd feel like a fraud if I was to be playing them. Oh, God. I'm really dead already. Am I? That's it, Xena. Okay. Doors of Citadel look solid, but I think I've already broken them, for God's sake. Go away. Right. I have Conan. I do need to play that sometime. Here we go. Get ready for the sound effect of all sound effects. <laughs> Why not? Fuck it. Oh, God. Okay, that's... <laughs> Oh god, it's so ridiculous. Uh, I do have Conan on the PS2. I, I've never loaded into the PS2 yet, so I have no idea what it's like. I'm sure it's great. Thank god I had the mercy of Hades so I could resurrect very early. Oh my god. So this is the game. By the way, your PS2 will lose it someday. It will lose all its virginities. <laughs> Unless it fucking keeps breaking. Which is a possibility. Oh my God. Stop, like... See People sometimes think I exaggerate in my reviews, and I am definitely guilty of it sometimes. But when I complain about the combat in this game, this, I, I'm not fucking joking. It's terrible. I'm about to die again on this fucking asshole. 
Okay. How riveting. It's just like watching the show. Okay. Um, can she pick up barrels? No. Oh my god! <laughs> god almighty! She runs like a toddler. Yeah, it's... It's not great. Um, right. Why does she do that scream which just picks up a fucking goddamn vase? I mean, even stream intends to pretty much correct in his assessment. Thank you, HQ. I'm always correct. No one dare questions the cult. Uh, five. Good to souls what that number means. Um, press triangle to activate this switch. Okay. Sure. And thus the Powerpuff Girls were born! God, I can't remember any of this. Oh, fuck right. Oh, <laughs> God. What? what? Where do I go? <laughs> that, 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 I wasn't expecting that. Um, okay, crikey. We'll play a bit of this and then... <laughs> I can't play. Like, I mean, Jesus Christ. Haven't I done my penance with this fucking game? Is this what happens when Garfield is shit? I blame that fucking cat. I always hate as well when, like, I'm kind of like, Garfield would be a good game to play on stream, and then you play, it's like just the biggest load of fucking dick. Okay. So what the fuck, where does it want me to go here? How do I, okay, let me, I don't think, I'm not sure if there's a climb down button. I don't, Super Toy Tiger, I don't. You picked it, this wouldn't have happened. That is true. Someday we'll play Post on Pat. That would be a very easy game to play. I'm just trying to see, is there a way that I can walk towards a ledge so that she doesn't just... She grabs onto it? Spoilers. The answer was no. Oh, so you're... You are just supposed to go this way, but no matter what, you're going to take fall damage. Thanks, Blast! God. Oh, I could have Maybe that was a starting area back there. Jesus Christ. Anyway. And then you open to this. Uh, so there's two switches on two sides. Fucking god damn it. This is why I always hate when streamers have fun in their streams. <laughs> Whenever you're seriously hurt, should you have the mercy of Hades, you will be transported to the last activated return point. Okay. And look at how vast this citadel is. They even have two tents! Wow. Blaster, sure. Amazing developers. Look at the amount of effort they've... God damn it. You can pretty much just, like, cheese the whole game. I'm pretty sure. Oh, God! Uh, how do I open this again? The door is locked. It looks solid, but I think there's a switch to open nearby. Okay, right. Doesn't have Xena still stuff from Aswood. Like, yeah, tell me about it. Oh! How do I fire my fucking. The fucking combat is so annoying. I don't know how. Is there. I can't remember the controls. It doesn't tell me. Right, we'll figure it out sometime. Take out your sword. You must win without your sword. Oh my goodness gracious. Betty Hill team this. Oh, Christ. Fuck my soul. Okay. I'm pretty sure he can even still hang on with the sword out. Okay, now she fucking does it. And I die. No, Zena! God fucking Foxy! <laughs> I hate this. I hate this so much. Uh, let's try to kill this guy with the, the the frisbee. Oh, God. How do I do this? I can't remember how to pull it out. Okay. Um, is that it? 
So if I hold L2... There we go. Alright, R3. Look at those graphics, eh? Ten means if there's a BRB or you decide to change games, could we possibly how long it takes for Gabrielle to drown? I'm very curious about it. Oh, God. I think it's about two hours. Do you know what I mean? So it's, it's a while. You'd be here a while. Okay. Let's kill this archer. Xena, come on now. What's she doing? Let's check on her. It's rising. Oh fuck, I'm back. Guys, I oh, Jesus Christ, I I hating this fucking game. Um so yeah, I think if you have this Hades thing, Teddy's no not this one. What? I know! Digimon Twitch. We're in hell! Oh, fucking criminy. How did I fire that thing? <laughs> no, Xena! <laughs> triangle! Triangle, it was triangle. Christ the Berg! It's so warm as well. Oh, you know what would be cool that we may do again soon? We must um, watch one of those Phoenix Games games. I have, like, the Mouse Police. I think that'd be cool little... Like, if we were doing a long stream, just have a few drinks with. Here we go. Oh, dear. <sighs> and we're back. And we're back in live action, ladies and gentlemen. We are watching the Xena girl absolutely fail. Wait now, why am I back up here? I opened the gates. Mouse police. I was going to say, yeah, I do. I have that. Like, um, I, I'm, I'm sure it's like a half hour long though. So we will pick a day where we'll all watch it together. I think that'll be a really good one. Uh, are we this way? Okay, we are. Right. I do have a feeling, though, if you did see this through to the end, uh, Gabrielle would be dead. <laughs> There's no way that, like, we're. I think we're taking way too long. Um. Oh, God, climb up. Climb up. Climb up, Xena. Climb the fuck up. Up. Climb. She fucking scares the shit of me every fucking time. All right, square. X? Okay, there we go. For some reason, that works. Why is her punch more powerful than the sword? Uh, I don't have country bears. No, and she certainly isn't, Craig. Absolutely no fucking Lara. Um, I don't have countryside bears. I do need to pick that one up. That guy was so polite. I know, yeah, exactly. The enemies are... They don't want to be sexist. <laughs> I can't offer to help the lady up. Um, okay, get up. Climb onto the fucking ledge. Xena, please. Please climb onto the fuck. Why? Why is it doing this? What am I doing wrong? Like, I, I promise you there isn't a grab button. Like, she normally just does it. <gasps> oh! Okay, we got it. It truly is TK. Thank you for rubbing that in, Digimon Twitch. <laughs> oh, God. Maybe someday I'll play a good PS2 game. I wonder what that's like. Imagine just, like, come on stream someday and I'm playing, like, Metal Gear 2 and having the fucking time of my life. Everyone, trigger warning for Aladdin. I live in America, so I don't get most of the bad ones. Yeah, like, I mean, the worst games that you got were, like, the guy game, probably. America got very few, like, bad, janky games. How do I move this fucking thing again? I've completely... My brain is broken right now. I cannot remember how to do this. 
No, circle? X? Do I even need to? No. Why is it? Oh my god. Everything about this game is a fucking troll. Why am I toxic? Ah, no, god damn it, see the... The game really makes you feel like a warrior princess. If she was blind and on drugs. That's it. Good core strength in those thighs. I mean, this is bad, but at least Ona doesn't require you to inform all her neighbors while this, you know, the guy game did. Maybe, yeah. <laughs> I've never played the guy game. It, just, it also just seems like one of those games that, like, I'm not sure would be even fun to play in a thrashy way. You know what I mean? It just seems really uncomfortable. Oh, God. Archers, my worst enemies. Eat the legs of Xena! Villain scum! Okay, thank god I survived that because that was very close. Uh, return here by the mercy of Hades. Is that like... Okay. You just find an apple and a leak. That's great. The guy gave is technically legal to own or sell. Is it really? I thought it was... Wasn't it only in the, the PC versions that um, like the underage girl was in it? God, it's fucking gas that you'd have to say that, isn't it? Okay. Um, Gabriel Time Warp. Oh, I have to move a block over. How about that? Over here. Uh, just acknowledge it. It's already given Twitch ammo to pull us off. <laughs> I also think using the words the guy game and pull us off is also probably given the ammo. <laughs> uh, how do I move this fucking thing? Xena. I don't know why it sounds like she's playing a tin whistle there. How do I move the fucking blocks? Why does it just do it? Why can't you just do it? It tends probably not even fun to play it as a joke. No, certainly not. Move the block. Move the block. I feel stronger now. Move the fucking block. Move it. I like to move it, move- Oh, there we go, triangle! Why not? Why she decides to do it now? Who knows? Here we go. Am I strong enough to move this block? Hot gaming action! Alrighty. And I think that's it, isn't it? No, I should've got a cutscene. What the fuck? It normally plays a little cutscene when you... <laughs> God almighty, what is going on? I... Where's my cutscene blast? Okay, I guess... Alright, it ha that has to be it then, does it? Xena is Zeus Laws, guy game is Zeus Laws broken. Fantastic joke. Promote that man. We could have played Ruler Rose, Silent Hill, or Eve Res Eve, but none of these could hold a handle to the true horror of Xena. <laughs> is it Ruler Rose is the most expensive um, PS2 game, isn't it? Uh. I've never played it. And I certainly don't own it. I wouldn't have broken it like I did um, our famous Aladdin last night. I was fully sure I should have gotten a cutscene there. Now I'm just very um, anxious about that. While I... Throw her to her death. Uh, we did. We 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 smashed Aladdin. Um, this is what remains of Aladdin. It's now a jigsaw puzzle. It was great. <laughs> I believe I can fly. Sure. Oh my god, I'm back in this fucking shithole! Oh, this game. Sorry, Gabrielle. 
Uh, Mark and Mark, thank you for the bits. My friend's sister was a voice in Rule of Rose and Dark Souls. Really? That's a cool little piece of trivia. Any experiences you can share about that? Did she like it? Was it a fun little thing to do? I've always wondered. I loved it, the voiceovers in the Dark Souls, the, the From Software games. It's really cool. Snow White is now 130 pounds? No way. Really? Holy Moses. I could make a fortune. I could make at least 130 pounds with that kind of price. I could never sell that. Wow. Look at this for graphics. Hey, Blast, uh, I think we may have forgotten to load in some of the, the environment. Okay. <laughs> Silent Hill, exactly. This pyramid head is lurking around the sewers. Okay. I believe I can touch the skies. Oh my god. Ooh, she put away the fucking sword. I hope you all appreciate I had to play through this whole game for that review. <laughs> Manhunt 2 is so... I noticed that as well. Manhunt 2 is after going up quite a lot in price. When I bought that, I think I paid like 50 quid for it. Which is still way too expensive for that fucking game. Um, that was one of the longest games that we beat on stream that time. Um, and all it did for us was give us Dildy. And we need to bring Dildy back. Dildy deserves better than Manhunt 2. Uh, we need to do Red Letter Media uh, and buy every copy of Aladdin. I was thinking of trying to do out the Sniper 2. But there are, there's just so many copies of it out there. But I would love to just like drive the price of the Sniper 2 through the roof. And then just destroy them all. <laughs> that just sounds like a really fun thing to do. Um, okay. Does anyone know who voiced the narrator in that? Uh, in Snow White? No. I wish someone would find them. God. Oh my. Let's see if I can get this guy from here. Hey. Of course, Xena can't move when she's... Oh! We chopped off his fucking head! That was an instant kill! What the fuck? Okay. I found it for two pounds at a jumble sale. Uh, Snow White or the Sniper 2? Okay. Manhunt! The second one! Holy fuck. Yeah, like, there's not a whole lot I can remember about the second Manhunt, only that I thought it was really bad in comparison to the first. Um, I think the first Manhunt is a really fucking cool game that is just really misunderstood. Um, it's kind of like the funny games of the video game world a little bit. You know what I mean? For anyone who's seen funny games, I am a man of culture. <laughs> um, but yeah, the second one was just like, oh, whatever, let's just violently murder everybody. Without there being a point. You'll never take me alive, villainous scum! Oh god. Oh, I hate the game. Okay, and let me get out my little frisbee. Uh, Stew Spoon 1! How are you, my friend? Welcome to the stream. Uh, and it's going terribly. We're playing Xena. How do you think? Oh my god. Oh fuck my life. You know, I think they change the exit of this level every time you go through it. And I am not amused by that. <laughs> I must say, it takes a lot to not amuse me. She grunts, she grunts non-stop. That doing it for you fellas? Oh, 
on the road again. I just can't wait to be on the road again. Take out your disc. Where is he? Come on, you dick! Eat the frisbee of doom! God damn it. Oh, there he is. Come on. Come out from whatever villainous, wretched hole. Where's he gone? He just disappeared. Oh, there he is. Okay. You just wait right there. Yeah, just lining up right for your neck. Don't move. I got this. And, okay. Action. She won't fire it. Oh my god, I don't have the energy to fire the fucking thing. So she won't throw it. So Crow Kennedy, how are you? Welcome to the stream. This is better than all the disc golf games I've seen. No! Lies! Lies! It's possible to hit self with a disc. It's not. No. Xena isn't that uh, in in incompetent. Oh god. So we, ca we can't throw it. We can just hold it in dramatic fashion. Yeah, great. Oh my god, he's having a seizure! What the fuck? He's like legless. He's like getting the best of fucking Xena in a melee combat fucking thing. He has a bow, Xena. Jesus fucking Christ. Okay. Oh, dear, oh dear. I don't remember the game being this hard when I played it. Although I have blocked it quite out of my memory. Anyway, I think we are just at the end of this level. How's Gabrielle doing? Oh, she's getting up to her knees now. This is getting fairly bad. <laughs> we might have a dead Gabrielle in, in, in momentarily. Demolition. Demol. What? It's 45 pound? Holy Moses. Um, I do not understand the way the world works sometimes. That's quite puzzling. I found a mercy of Hades. If Hades any, had any mercy, he would just like turn off the game. Okay. That's both switches. I've done it. I did it. What more? I, I, is the door open? It fucking better be now. <laughs> I'm not even joking. Where, how do I check? Where is it? Where's the gate? There is Stone Crow. Yeah, it's like... It, like, it, and it, it happens in real time. She will drown. Which isn't a bad thing, because this game is fucking horrible. Oh god. Sorry, Xena. Please tell me this door is open. Where even is the fucking thing? Isn't this exciting, everybody? Okay, that's it. I remember there being a cutscene for that. I don't know why it didn't give me one. Uh, do you sell your valuable PS2 games, Sennies? No, I don't. I love having, like, little kind of valuable PS2 games. It's a bit of fun. Just because they're so dirt. <laughs> uh, the Devs of Hong Kong 97 did a Simple Series PS2 game, which was also a fetish game. I'm sure they did. There are so many of those Simple Series games that are, like, absolute filth. Um, like, Demolition Girl, Rihu, the character in that is in so many kind of sexy games. Oh, my God. Xena switches to open the next port colors to the next area or high above. Let's see if we can do this one without killing an enemy, right? Let's pretend we're speedrunning this one. Okay. Zena! I think this this is another door that's not as substantial as it looks. Why you gotta talk shit on the door? Look at Zena, go! Woo! Zena! Zena! Oh, I probably can't here because I have to fire the fucking disc thing at a wall, don't I? I have a vague recollection of that. Yes, I do. Come on, just fire. Xena, come on. Quick. Okay, we did it. Losing their protection. It's like an OREM song. Pacifist run, indeed. Okay. Zena! What? Which door did it open? Which fucking door? I just... I, I, did I not open that? Okay, that archer won't do anything to me. 
Because he's behind the pillar. Did I not just open that fuck? Am I losing my mind? Do I have dementia? I kind of feel like Anthony Hopkins and the father right now. <laughs> what the fuck? Um... Oh, my days. Oh, shit. Okay, let's try the other side. This is the wrong side. Oops. Um. Minty. Oh, sorry, Minty. Two switches. Two switches up there. It just... Oh, thing, though. Okay. I love that I need advice on a game I've already completed. This is like... A true test to <laughs> how good a gamer I am that I can just instantly forget. Thank you, dialogue screen. That's very useful information. Uh, got some health. Oh no, Minty, I know that. Um, you, just, you have to get through. They're, they're not the switches though. The switches are through the gates. So I'm thinking maybe that that switch opened up the gate on the other side, maybe? Let's see. No, apparently not. Okay. Come on, Xena, we have one shot left. Can you get the fuck? Okay. So that opened... Over there. So if I keep going out and right... Okay, I'll find it. Why you gotta make it so complicated? Zena! Oh, I tell you, when's the speed run to those? Which? I really like. I, I did say it before. I really want to try and speed run Largo. I think that'd be a ton of fun. Until I actually start playing it, and then it'd be terrible. How do I get up there? Is this a way? No. How do I get you here again? Zena! I don't think even you can jump across those flames, but I remember seeing stone blocks that you could use as a stepping stone. Great. Thank you. Um, how the fuck do I get up to these areas again? Do you know Largo like the back of your hand? I did, but I do know also if I got into like one of those uh, hacking mini games like I did in Largo before, that it would be an instant end to the stream. But what I also remember is that when you clear Largo, uh, you can do all the hacking games. Um, in the main menu, so it just lets you play them. So you could easily just learn the best moves and then just go, you know? Okay, so obviously I'm being silly and... Oh god. Oh. Alrighty. Sorry about that. Uh, I think you get your throwing energy back by picking up those little blue orbs. I can't get out. And I can't throw my disc. What the fuck are you looking at? You tired looking bastards. Oh, I wish I could throw it. Why does she need juice to throw her fucking thing? There we go. Okay. Why you gotta go make the game so complicated? Xena. Alrighty. And we're through. Let's see what magic awaits through here. It's a block and a man! Go away. I'm doing my pacifist run. Leave me alone, sir. I don't wish you any harm. Oh my god. The game fucking makes it hard enough. Move it! There we go. Woo! And she got fall damage, but fuck it. Oh my god, it's, it's, it's actually really annoying trying to do this without <laughs> hitting anybody. <laughs> Not even Gamer God could do this. Uh, right. Fuck it. If I must fight, then I must win. Up yours, villain scum! Okay. 
he was quite a bit easier than most of them. So that that was nice. Yeah. Hot guard. Yeah. Isn't this epic? Isn't that what the kids call fighting? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> okay, great. I'm right back here though, because I have the mercy babies. Grand. Lovely stuff. Uh, to the person who asked about the Snow White and Seven, uh, uh, got curious and looked it up, and he's still no name, but it's probably someone who worked on the CD. Um, yeah, so it, it was a company that like Phoenix Games bought um, those things off of, wasn't it? But it's so funny that there's no like that information isn't out there about the, that guy because he's so fucking like he's a part of gaming history. Like the the biggest gaming YouTubers have covered those games, and no one knows who he is. I'm surprised Tommy Tallarico hasn't suddenly come out and goes, yeah, that was me. I voiced some of those uh, Phoenix Games games. It just seems very on brand. He's in almost all of them, isn't he? I think he does all of them. So, can she make that one with one block? I want me to find out. She can! Okay. You do the time warp. Oh, fuck. Eat fist, fuck! Uh, it's weird because family seemed to be a fairly big chore this time. Family genie CD Romic. That is a hard word to say. It's Aladdin all over again. <laughs> it's awful. Oh, God, Zena. I tell you what though, it is fucking badass. She can turn men into dust with her fists. Okay, we got one switch. Don't worry, Gabrielle, we'll get you. Uh, and the next level is the maze because that one is so fun as well. God Blast really did a fucking number on all of these fucking games, didn't they? I mean, really and truly. Okay. I got to break free. As you were, gentlemen. I said as you were. Leave Zena alone. Medusa stare. Exactly. <laughs> oh, God. Indeed it does. Like, I mean, this definitely is the most effort that Blast put into a game, I feel. I haven't played all of them now. There is still a few Blast games I have to play, and um, I was hoping just to do one last review to do them all. Um, and just get them out of my fucking life for good. Because I have all of them now. Like, I have every single... I think so. I don't think there's one that I don't have. Yeah, I do. I have every Blast game. That's a depressing thought, isn't it? Um, did I activate this one already? I think so. But yeah, I should just finish it off. Zena! What? Okay. Oh my god, go away! Fucking text! You must win without your bow. Hot god! Okay, um... The Blast Cinematic Universe arc is coming close to... I know! It isn't my next review, though. My next review is, like, just a kind of a little small review that I wanted to do. Because the game is, like, just fucking insane. It is a game that we played here once on stream. But it was a very innocuous one. I don't think anyone would guess it. You must win without your brain. Indeed, I was like... <laughs> oh, my God! It's just, like, it is annoying making a game for, um, YouTube sometimes. Oh, Jesus Christ, Zeta. Okay, she did survive. What the fuck? You probably don't even need to do those blocks, do you? That seemed rather easy. Let's see if I can just press this button without these guys annoying me. Yeah, dude. Okay. Um, but, so, like, YouTube is just super fucking annoying to spend so much time making videos for now because they can immediately just take it down. It's kind of... 
sad. <laughs> um, already. And uh, that's this level, pretty much done. I have mercy of Hades. May Hades also with you. Here we go. Into the maze! Uh, Gabrielle isn't dead, how very dare you. She is only up to her hips, I think, in water, maybe. I hope Sony make a remake of Robin Hood's quest so they can find a recent exclusive that doesn't have a fucking bow and arrow. <laughs> Shots fired! I will say, I do agree um, that in that last, there's like that little summer games fest, the fucking amount of fantasy games that were coming out, it was getting a bit crazy. Um, it was just starting to feel like everything looked the same. That was like, the Microsoft one, like, was really fucking good in comparison to the Sony one. I even, like, I'm one of those schmucks that bought a PSVR 2, and I was like, okay, they're, just, they're holding out for, like, their big release for the Summer Games Fest. And then it was like, oh, actually, we're, we're getting nothing. We're kind of, we're getting uh, Resi 4, which will be great in VR, but we don't know when it's out. Um, fucking maze. Isn't it beautiful, though, this maze? Hmm? Don't you just wish you could escape into the world of Xena? Uh, so the PSVR 2 is my very first VR system. Um, I do really like it. I will say that. I think it's a ton of fun. And Resident Evil 8, oh my fucking god. It's fantastic. We got Super Speed Potion! Diddle, 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 diddle. How do I open this door? I need 30. Oh my god, I need spheres of Zeus. Oh shit! Sorry, Xena! <laughs> Fucking spheres of Zeus. Maybe Xbox will get the right to Robin Hood's quest. <laughs> We need some, we need Largo fucking remade. That's what we need. I'd love to know where that franchise is tied up right now. Like, do Ubisoft still own it? Xbox has Goldeneye? Really? Is that true? That's gas. But Xbox, like, I, I'm not one to uh, turn off my subscriptions. And, um... Like, I haven't watched Netflix in about, I'd say, five months. But I had to cancel Game Pass. Because I was almost... I, I'd log onto my Xbox and I would just go through the, the games. I'd be like, this is just fucking depressing. I'm paying money for this. <laughs> I couldn't do it anymore. I'm pretty sure GoldenEye's on the Switch. I think you're right, Super Tony. Now, what they, the GoldenEye they don't have is GoldenEye Rogue Agent, which we will have to play sometime. Remember that? Ridge Racer. Jump, Xena! Uh. Woo! Okay, we did it. Uh. I love mazes. They're so fun. A game that plays like shit on the Switch. Who knew that was possible? Do you know what I, like, I also wish? It was a game that I absolutely adored. And I, I rarely play games on, like, PC or laptops or anything. But I'm still kind of a little bit annoyed that FTL never got a console release. Um, I fucking adore that game. And they never released it. The next game they made was fantastic, Into the Breach, as well. Just looking for, for some spheres of Zeus. Why is Zeus dropping his spheres? <laughs> Faster than light. Yeah, it was incredible. I adored that game. How many does say need? 34 or 36 or... I'd love a remake of Bushido Blade. Do I never played Bushido bit? FTL's ice sometimes unfair. Oh, it was, it was complete bullshit. But sometimes when you did, and it was so random, but sometimes when you did get one of those runs that, like, just... Oh, God. Where luck was on your side, it was the fucking best game ever. I need... Sw oh, my God. Thank you, game. 
Thank you, thank you, thank you. Do you know what I hope to keep making forever? Uh, Dynasty Warriors. <laughs> Why? I don't know. I'll never play them. But it always just kind of makes me feel a bit safer when Dynasty Warriors is out there. You know what I mean? I used to play them when I was young. And it was like, wow, look, there's one million troops. But then there's not really. There's only emptiness and sadness. I don't know, I have a crazy taxi remake. I bought... Um, who was it? It wasn't Blast. Some fucking hacky games publisher made uh, a crazy taxi kind of thing. And I have it in there. I have it in my collection. I must drag it out sometime. I love this music. <laughs> At least it's nicer than the last one. The last level we were playing. It's a bit calmer. I can imagine the hobbits chilling out to this one. Okay, I need 40 spheres for that one. Let's go find the other one. Maybe that's it, Koala Caffeine. London Taxi. It kind of, but it has, it, it, it certainly the cover looks like um, a ripoff of um, Crazy Taxi. Oh, God. London Cab Challenge. Yeah, I think, maybe, I think that's what I have. I think I have like maybe one or two taxi games back there. I'm sure they're both fantastic. Worse than Big Rigs? Really? Oh my god, now you have me intrigued. That sounds great. <laughs> There's such an interest in dev company. It's why I love the PS2 so much. There's just so much shit. For no reason. That like it must have cost more money to make these games for the PS to release them than it was like than they made back. You know what I mean? That's just like the vibe that you get off Phoenix Games releases. And then you also have like Metal Gear Solid 3 on the same system. Which I'd argue is still... I was watching um, that being played today. And it's like... Oh, finally got the door open. But I was watching the, the boss fight on the end. And like... The fucking shit that that game was doing. It's just some of the best fucking things. That you could advance the time in your console. And just the end dies of old age. And But if you do it like... If you fast forward it like seven days or six days... Snake falls asleep and the end shoots him and puts him back in a cell. Like, it's just fucking. Oh. Peak, peak game. Oh, let's, uh. Try to see if we can hack the maze a tiny bit. Uh, so you can jump onto one of the walls here. I I think I remember dicking around with it when I was playing it for the review. <laughs> Oh, we're on. Uh, okay. Now, I hope the fuck it didn't c take my 40 uh, Zeus points. Why we need Zeus points? Who knows? But we need 40 of them. <laughs> Bollocks to you. PS2 games make it feel cozy. I think so. The aesthetic of a PS2 game is so good. Because it did. It still could like have really good graphics. You know what I mean? Gabrielle. Zero. Is this the one I was already in? I don't think so. Makes me sit down and that's why life looked up to the technological improvement back then. Yeah, I mean, I remember what, what, it was like the PS3 and the PS4 was kind of the, the consoles where it was like, oh, is this the end? Is this how far we're going to get? Um, I remember not being too impressed. Now, but I think the PS5 was a bit of a, a game changer. Okay, where's this last fucking tower now? Shit. I only thought it was two. Do we get too much bad crap? <laughs> the Wii was so cool. It was like... What was it in the Nintendo uh, when they were announcing the Mario movie? Was it Seth Rogen? Or just, no, yeah, it was Seth Rogen. He's so cool. <laughs> um, oh, fuck. I'm just going to die from the fall damage here anyway. Jesus fucking Christ. Oh, 
Oh, I started right beside it. Let me in. Here we go. Indeed, Mr. The Joshua. <laughs> Shots fired, blast. <laughs> the archer just over there. Didn't see us. D Press the button. Press the button. Have we already pressed this button? Fucking hell. Okay, I guess we did. I thought we started back outside the, the new one. Oh! You must win without your bow. How do I not have the 40 fucking... Why? Why do I need these fears? Why? I would have got Lucy Lawless in just scream into the mic. That would be fucking great. Imagine she was like really excited. It's like, wow, I got to have my very own PS2 game. But like Blast could only afford the studio for maybe like two minutes. <laughs> oh my god. Why is the game like this? I'm not even lost in the maze. It's just like I have to find fucking spheres. Red fucking orbs. I like to think that Blast made this game uh, already known the future, knowing that the great teddies would make reviews on the Predator table. You do wonder, like, especially PS2 era, like, at the time, magazines were taking great relish in te tearing down bad games. You know what I mean? I was an avid reader of PSM2. Loved that magazine. It was so cool. Okay, so... Oh my god! What the fuck is that thing? Okay, I need three more. Zeus spheres. Here we go. But like, wouldn't it be great if, if this type of game... If the game industry was kind of similar to how it was back then. So you had Jeff Keighley at the Game Awards going... Okay, everyone, this next one is from a company called Blast Games. It's a real honor to announce this one. It's called Xena Warrior Princess. Check it out. Then it cuts like a trailer of... Wow, really interesting title. <laughs> okay. Zena! Not sure you made the stairs long enough. Okay. We still have a fucking other one. Oh my god. Tains, I wish I was trapped in a submersible with a handsome gorgeous hunk like you. Oh my god, JJ. Well, we've been implode and die. <laughs> but thanks, I think. Unless you do want to murder me on a submarine, then um, I, I'm not so sure I'd... Not so sure I'd be happy with that. Oh god. This guy's a double fucking crossbow. I think Blast Games are what come out when the game's like, it's just a job. I, I'm sure. Like, and also, I just, I do think Blast was probably where a lot of dreams went to die. You know what I mean? I'd say they hired quite a lot of people who was like, they were hoping that this would be their first job in the games industry. And then... Mm -mm. I'd love to know who the most successful person who worked for Blast was. Okay, uh, okay, we have the castle open. Here we go. I'd say, yeah, probably. It's a, what was the game? Oh yeah, it was um, Chemist Tycoon, where they just got a load of high school students, <laughs> where the credits are literally just high school students. Oh my god. Okay, uh, we unlocked the next area. I think we've had all the fun that we could possibly muster from Xena Warrior Princess. Um. Oh, I almost forgot. I recently played a Phoenix PS2 game. Oh, God. I checked the credits. The development team consisted of nine people. <laughs> and I'm sure, like, one of them is just, like, the d director of the company. You probably had nothing to do with the making of anything. Um. Ugh. Okay. <sighs> Uh, 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 uh. He 
hadn't sailed in seven years. Maybe we should go sailing again. Those are the last random thoughts. The suffer brain delivered to him as the rope tightened around his neck. How cruel. His frantic kick and relaxed. He was sailing now. The content pack really is an unmitigated bum. Five out of 100. Oh my god. What was that for? <laughs> That's great. To someone who worked in a 1990s FMV game called Critical Path, who's now a Hollywood stunt woman, so it's possible. That's pretty cool. Sims 2, H&M fashion stuff. Wow. God, the cheek of them. And that was when, like, you couldn't download games either. You had to fucking buy it in a shop. Um, I'm looking at Robin Hood Quest Review, and it's great. <laughs> we already played that yesterday at the very start of the stream. Um, all right, I think I'm done with Xena. Um, bam, 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 bam. This is the wrong side. That was like so. Look, I'm pr like it was. It was a scramble of a of a stream because uh, Garfield fucked us. Really, I'd never been fucked by a cat before, and that's how it feels like. It just it kills momentum. Um, I also I thought Xena was gonna be more fun. I forgot how fucking shit it is. <laughs> uh, oh my god. Anyway, um, Garfield Kart. I want to know, like, I because I thought I was playing that Garfield game that was like really, re. It had like a massive amount of um, negative reviews when it came out. So I was kind of I, I thought that that's what we were playing, but apparently not. Um, Ultra Quack Quack. It really wasn't. <laughs> It was like that was that was uh, this, that was sketch. I I apologize for that stream. Um, I promise next one will be good. We'll play something cool. Um, God, I would have rather restart spy fiction again. The new fuck the that fucking shit. Jesus Christ. Then his ears threatened to sue him over, and he got blacklisted from their stuff. Wow. So when you review the next content package, this is every item. That's funny. Um, I will TK. Thank you. I'll do my very best. I'm over there on some business. Um. I don't know. Well, I appreciate the support of the Quack Quack. The next stream, I promise you, will do a fucking good one. Um, I think it'll probably be Monday, if not Sunday. But, yeah. I don't, I'll probably be knackered when I come home. I hate flying. Flying's bollocks, isn't it? Um, we'll do more spy fiction. It's a bit too soon to go back to spy fiction. We'll find another game in between. But, um, I don't know. I've kind of been with the streams. Just because spy fiction took a lot to do. Um, I kind of wanted to break the next few streams down by playing a few just kind of single stream games like yesterday was great um, Well, <laughs> I say that but just because it was a game that you could beat in one stream. You know what I mean? So um, yeah, I don't know That was my thinking today, but uh, ultimately we ended up with this with this Fucking Lucy, I'm so sorry <laughs> Uh Technically never beat the game. That is true. I guess we never will now because this is how it looked. I got the secret ending. <laughs> I don't know what to do with this. I was thinking of reconstructing it and framing it. I think that'd be a nice little thing. Who knows? Uh, R.A.P. Exactly. Secret ending glass in your foot. And it could very well happen. As I said at the start of the stream, there is like two missing pieces somewhere around the apartment, so I'm not sure. Okay, I'm gonna throw the rest of you over. The macaroni prince is still ra is is streaming. Sorry, so I will raid him. He raided me yesterday, so let's go over and and give him some love. Um, he is playing. Oh, he's doing a talk show and podcast. So go over and make fun of him for that. <laughs> uh, but yeah, look. Thank you all so much, uh, all the guys for the bits, um, and all the follows, and all the subs. Thank you very kindly. We're at over, we're over 60 cult members now. That's pretty cool, eh? That's pretty nice. Uh, so thank you. Sorry, let me get this raid in order. I've almost forgotten how to raid people. It's quite annoying. Um, raid! He just went off fucking line. I guess the talk show didn't work out. What the fuck, Macaroni Prince? I was trying to raid you, goddammit. I want—I really wanted to see what his talk show was. No, it says he's on fucking, like, goddammit. Okay, hang on. The Macaroni Prince. Twitch is trying to sabotage the poor Macaroni Prince. We will raid this fucker, okay? If it kills us. <laughs> uh. God, they make this shit fucking complicated. There's too many buttons. Okay. 
Right, there we go. Oi, oi, oi. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, look, everybody, thank you so much for the stream. We will be back ready and ripe and strong for more bad PS2 games um, probably Monday. So, until then, adios, and I will see you all very, very soon, and enjoy the raid. Thank you kindly. Bye-bye. Ba -da -ba -da -bam -ba -ba -bam. Oh! This is Kirk the Cowardly Dog. Support Tennings on Patreon. You can get your name after every video, polls deciding future game reviews, outtakes, and scripts. Ah! Mario!